The Signal Jaguar is coming to town. With me is special Richard Kaisinger, and we are bringing you the girls and boys games. So immediately following this game, we'll take a little about a 30 minute break, and then the boys games will come on after that. We are ready to get underway here in the second half. And uh, Dickey, it's been a really good first half, really tight defensive struggle for both teams. I think it's been a, a very tight defensive and offensive game for both teams. Um, both teams are struggling to do to just complete fundamentals, holding on to the ball, not com uh, you know not committing turnovers. It's, it's been turnover, turnover, turnover for both sides, and I'm hoping that the second half will show a little bit more ball control, a little bit more you know um, fundamentals, a little bit more uh, ball security. Excellent. Well, we are ready to get underway here. Uh, leading score there in the first half. We'll get you some uh, some stats as well for the uh, for the girls in just a bit. But I'm pretty sure that uh, Katie Cobble is leading the way for the Jags. The freshman there having a great game so far. And for Vicenza, Sarah Weston leading. A little bit of a of a confusion there for Siganella and they're do not get the easy basket. Grant comes there and steals the ball back. But Siganella gets it back again. Cougars were a little bit late getting set up on defense and the refs gave them the ball, so not a good way to start that second half of action. Definitely not, definitely not. Not what you want to see coming out of the half. But there's a good one right there for you. Nice pass there for Weston, who gets it in. Excellent. Victoria Porras with the pass there for the Cougars, and Weston finishes it off that immediately comes in and fouls. No, they're gonna call out of bounds. Good pressure there for Vicenza. So the Cougars, after a little misplay there to start the first half, get two points, take the lead, and get the ball back. Keanu Grant to get two points for Vicenza. Nice job there. The Cougars take a four-point lead, their biggest lead of the game, and Siganella comes right back. Got offensive juggernauts going on here. Kasaya Chandler there with two for Siganella to get back within two. I think we've had more points scored here in the first minute of the second half than they had in the second quarter. In the first couple minutes, inside the entire first half. Siganella gets the ball inbounds, and it's stolen there by Wetson with glue hands. But then turns it over on the dribble. Siganella gets the ball back, tries the long pass. It's connected down there to Hinton. Hinton puts it up, doesn't quite make the rim. Siganella gets Sidney Moore with the rebound. For three, and it's good. And just like that, Siganella is back on top, 17 to 16. They're trying to get the ball down the floor. They do get it down there. Zarnik with a nice move inside. Can't quite finish it up. Gets her own rebound and then loses it out of bounds. Siganella will get it. Full court press now for Vicenza. Weston almost manages to get that pass. Dangerous and now it is given away. Vicenza comes up with it. Zarnik pulls it down. Gets it down to Weston and she brings it across the court. Nice pass there by Sarah Weston looking down to Knapp. Could not quite finish it off though. Siganella almost puts it back down, not quite. Knapp with the rebound, brings up the far side. Gets a little separation for herself there. Almost gets a double dribble there. Could have called that, you suppose. Weston with the floater, can't quite put it down, and a jump ball is called. Victoria Porras. We got somebody down on Siganello's side, number 24, Kasia Chandler. That was a tough one right there. Looks like she got a ball in the face. Well, she looks to there, we'll take a break as well. Let her get taken care of. This is Cougar basketball against Siganella on AFN. So the G4, in support of their mission and car, 
is responsible from the very beginning to include planning the operation. Uh, once the plans have been completed, we understand what's required uh, to perform the mission, then we go into operations in, in terms of executing the mission, mobility to get them there, sustainment stocks once they're there, to make sure that they have the right tools and equipment to do the job. Not only do we support U.S. forces, we support joint and international uh, forces, U.K., France, and others that have been partners with us on the continent of Africa for a very long time, and we value their commitment. We share information. We share resources, plans, ideas, so that we can do it better, faster, stronger, at a better value to the taxpayer and our governments. We do all this with a mixed force of military and civilians. And we are back here in Vicenza, Vicenza Siganella. Elizabeth Camus with the injury, but she did manage to get off at her own power. I think she got a little shook up. She's being looked at right now by the coaches, but I think hopefully she'll be okay. Cougars have the ball trailing by 117-16. We'll get that score up for you in a second as well. Cougars inbound. Zarnik tries to get down the far side and she is boxed out. They are going to call out of bounds on Vicenza. Excuse I think me, it's no, they're going to call the foul. foul. They're going to call the foul. Look at something pointing to the line there. <laughs> so Cougars keep it. With the inbound to Zarnik. Can't quite get it to fall. Grant with the rebound. She puts it up and off the glass. Siganella comes down with the rebound. Nice high dribble there for Siganella. Tries the bounce pants. Bounce pass. There we go. Can't quite get it down. Hinton with the high shot off the top of the backboard. Coops come up with it. And we'll call the jump ball. Victoria Forrest could not quite keep a handle on that one. Possession arrow pointing towards Siganella, so they will keep it. Get a little physical here in this third quarter. Hint to the top of the key, slides around. No travel called. And the no look pass, meaning she didn't look at the pass coming to her. Cruz get it back though. Nice job there by number 40, Catherine Sibilla with the bill. And the floater from Emma Knapp. Cougars take the lead. Knapp steals another pass. Tries for the inbounds. She tried to hit Victoria Porras in stride, could not, but is knocked out by Siganella. Vicenza keeps the ball. Zarnik really trying to get the crew fired up. Call it out there on Adrian Adriano. Zakia Folks checks in for the Cougars, giving uh, Kiana Grant a little rest there on the bench. Casilla Chandler checking in for the Jags. It's always a good sign to see somebody come back from an injury like that. So Siganella tries the inbound. Full court pressure there for Vicenza. And Vicenza comes away with it. Sibilla with the steal. Nice pass inside. Can't quite get it to fall for Victoria Porras. Sig brings up the floor. Close the ball up. And in for Casilla Chandler. Another freshman for the Jags. Hit the scoreboard as the Jags take the lead back, 19-18. Cougars get it forward. Down low to Zarnik. Zarnik throws up a prayer. Can't quite get it down. Nice rebound there from Sevilla. Can't quite get it to fall. Vicenza will keep it there. Ah, another jump ball. This time going to Vicenza. Porce with the inbounds. Fine snap at the top of the key. Cannot quite put it in. But. Zarnik with the rebound, throws up another one, can't wait it down, call another jump ball. Well, they're gonna call a foul on that. That was a pretty quick foul right there. Rush trying to step in there and keep this thing from getting too chippy. Just over three to go here in the third quarter. Signal on top by one. Long in mouth passes, picked off, went to no one. Knapp tries to get inside and it's going to be called for the foul against number 12, Katie Cobble. 
Carlo did not quite have position on that, on that play, and she got called very quickly by the refs. Vincenzo inbounded again with the stack formation. Force gets it down low, gets the ball back again. Another jump ball. That was Zakia Folks down there on the, the white side. And Haley Gaspora for the Jags. Katie Cobble with the inbound pass. Gets it into Hinton. Hinton brings it up the floor. Keeps the dribble. Fights off the pressure and they're gonna call a, a reach in foul or they call out of bounds. Well, out of bounds off Vicenza. Floating the pass inside, 33 looking for some pressure, cannot quite come down with it. We're gonna go down to Kevin Martin in just a second down there, he's gonna got a, uh, a parent. As Zarek tries for the shot. Can't quite get the fall, they're gonna call. Three seconds inside there. Hey Kevin, what do you have there? You have a uh, special parent? Hey guys, yeah I do. I'm here with uh, LaTorcha Grant, mom of Kiana Grant, starting center for the Vicenza Cougar Tigers. And this is her third year playing, and she hasn't played before this, right? That's right. And how has she enjoyed the game of basketball? She's really enjoying it. This year has been totally different because now she's more aggressive and she have more passion for the game. So, so the biggest difference between last year and this year, you would say, is her passion for the game and her aggressiveness? Yes. Well, I appreciate you coming out, and so does, so does your daughter, I'm sure. Let me uh, want to give you this AFN 360 coffee mug, because as she gets older and uh, into her teenage years, you're probably going to stay up late. You're going to need the coffee. So AFN 360 mug, you can stream us online at all times. Listen to all of your favorite music. And this is just a little gift for you for coming out and supporting AFN and supporting your daughter and the Vicenza Cougar Tigers. All right, guys, back to you. All right, thanks, Kevin. And thanks, Mom, there for helping out. Daughter's playing pretty well as the Cougars now have the lead, 20 to 19. Driving the baseline is the Kia Folks. Ball gets knocked out, so the Cougars will hang on in possession. Just over two minutes to go here in the third period. Knapp drives the hoop, puts it up, and in. And the Cougars extend their lead, 22 to 19. Siganella open field. Open court. Oh, cannot quite get the ball to follow there for Katie Cobble. Cougars keep it, and they're going to call a double dribble against Sarah West. They could not quite keep control of that ball. Good pressure there from Cobble. After the missed layup, she came back and got the defensive stand. So she'll pass it across with a second all moves it down low. Nice pass. Could not get it up. But there to pick it up is Casilla Chandler. Pulling Sigonella back within one. Gettleman breaks the pressure. Better watch that five seconds. She gets rid of it. Zakia drives the baseline, gets it to the far side, and goes all the way through without taking a shot. Weston puts it up, can't quite put it down. For three, nap just off the back of the glass. Darnick almost comes down with it, but instead it's Hallie Gaspora with the rebound. There's Katie Cobble all by herself. Her teammates did not come back to help her out in that one. They call it out of bounds. Or a jump ball, excuse me. Signal not getting back very quick there. Katie's the only person getting back on offense. Just in a minute to go here in the first period. Can't quite come down with it. Siganella turns it back. Cobble pulls it in before it goes out of bounds. Tries to go across, gets the ball there. And Grant grabs in there and gets that jump ball against Sidney Moore. Siganella has possession, they'll keep the ball. Oh, 
Long inbound pass to the top. Katie Cobble with the ball at the top of the key. Looking to move it around. Gets it down to Hinton, in and out. And Grant with the rebound. And Gettleman will bring up the floor. Knapp with a nice drive and just in and out. Grant with the rebound, can't get it to fall. Knapp pulls it down again. Gives it to Weston who bounces it off the side of the rim. And that will do it for the third quarter of play. Cougars holding on to a one point lead. We will be back with the fourth quarter of action right here. You are watching. Cougar basketball against Siganella on your home for high school local sports. This is AFN. Welcome back to the Cougars against the Jaguars, Siganella and Vicenza girls basketball on AFN. I'm Eric Ty with Dickie Tysinger. And uh, we got some replay action for you now, some of the last scoring to go on. I'm gonna bring you some of the great uh, action that we just saw there as the Cougars hanging on. This is Siganella one, one one. pulling within one. That was Casilla Chandler there with the points. Nice play there for Casilla. And here's the Cougars this time coming down, get them in. Fights off the pressure. Gets it down low. And we're going back to live action now, though. Go back to live action right here as we've got a one point lead for Vicenza. On defense now, Signal inbounds the ball. Brings it down, Hinton with the ball across midcourt. Weston goes for the steal, can't quite come away with it. Double teamed out. Signella beats it, brings it down. That's Cabo with the double dribble. Can't quite get rid of the ball before she comes down. She's kicking herself for that one. Here we go, Vicenza inbounds the ball, so Sigonel is gonna pull back and not have the full court. Go back into their regular defense and pressure. Bad inbound pass there, down low by Grant. Grant now on the defense, is she gonna foul her? She will, as the ball goes up through the basket on the inside. Could count that as a shot, I suppose, right? <laughs> I, I'm not uh, familiar with all the rules of basketball, but I'm pretty sure that's that's not one of them. It does not count, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. But Katie will get to shoot two here and give the Jags a chance to take the lead. First shot is no good. Here's the second. Good. We've got a tie game. <laughs> Going to go out of bounds on Siganella, and the Jag Cougars will get the ball. We'll maintain possession, excuse me. But she can't go, nobody moved. There it is, West Knapp down low. And Jags 
come up with it. Long pass down to Cobble. Can she get the ball up? She does, just over the rim. Can't quite get it to fall, and they will call the foul against number three, Sydney Moore. Lucky break there for the Cougars. Nap was a little bit out of control, but they got the penalty called. Nap is, Nap is taking over this game for Vincenzo. Couple key plays on offense. A lot of turnovers uh, she's uh, forced against Siganella. Really coming through in the clutch for her team tonight. So we got a tie ball game here with 6.40 to go in the fourth quarter. Long pass down low, inside to Grant. Grant puts it up off the glass, can't get it to fall. Cobble with the rebound and the fast break all by herself. They're gonna call a jump ball on that. Cobble, that she's fortunate that she didn't get, didn't get a penalty and that would be a T if you ask me, but. Emma Knapp coming Dr. back. Dr. J looked the other way on that one. <laughs> Emma Knapp coming back on, on defense with a great hustle to force that jump ball and turnover for their team. Just all around great hustle by Emma Knapp. Mr. Johnson going over to the coach there, telling her to calm down a little bit. <laughs> Letting her, your emotions get the best of her. So Knapp brings it straight up the middle, has the lane, goes all the way through and will draw the foul. They're gonna call that foul on uh, Haley Gaspora, senior captain. And Knapp will get to shoot too. but Grant with the rebound. And the put back by Victoria Porras. Jax can't quite put it down, but Cobble comes up with her own rebound. Up high, Hinton has the ball, resets the offense. In and out of the hands of Aiden Adriano. Here comes the inbounds. Nap brings it up the court. Victoria gets it down low to Grant. Nice interior pass. Grant quite can't get enough on it to get it up into the rim. Steal there by the Cougars. In low to Grant. Lots of pressure down there. And they'll finally get the jump ball call. Good defense the pressure there by the Jags. Jags will hold on to it. Long pass, overthrows everybody, but comes back to the Jag and they score. Haley Gaspor in the right place at the right time. And the Jags take a one point, excuse me, pull back within one. Offensive foul called against the Cougars there. The foul against Eminap this time. Nobody has the ball, trying to pick it up. Cobble comes out with the run to call a carry against Katie Cobble. A little broken play there. The Cougars will get the ball with the one point lead, just over five to go here in the ball game. Reminder coming up after the girls' game is the boys' action. And the Cougars want to talk things over, taking a timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. You are watching Cougar, Siganella, Vicenza, Jaguars, basketball on A. We're going to go to a replay. We've got a replay for you, actually. One of our top plays. We'll see how that went. Here we go. That's 
the jump ball there for the Cougars. That was the nice defensive pressure. And here we go. That's a nice shot there by Kasaya Chandler. So we're back live here. Just over five minutes to go. The Cougars hanging on to a one-point lead. Our scoreboard got bumped. Long shot there for the Cougars, but a nice rebound there from Zakia. She drives back in and gives it away. But Knapp with the steal in return. Comes down with it. She wants to call. Did she call a timeout? She did not call a timeout down there, and she'd stand on the line. That's where you want to have call a timeout there, right? <laughs> yeah, when you get it down on the ground, can't even get up. You, you got to call a timeout. Be smart about it. Uh, remain possession. Or, or keep possession. Nice defense there by the Cougars. Knocks Siganella out of bounds, so the Cougars will get the ball back anyway. Good pressure there from Victoria Porras. Here come some subs. Zarnik checks in for the Cougars. Going to give Grant a rest on the bench this time. Knapp with a dangerous pass. Back over to Weston this time. Weston sets up. And Zakia looking for someone that wasn't there in the middle. Sigano brings it back. Cabo brings it up. Hurts her hand in the process. Gets it down low, and she gives it away. Tried to save it, couldn't under her own best. Own net bounces it off the rim. Another jump ball there. Cobble and Porus. They see him shake hands there after that little scrum to get the ball. Cougars will keep the ball with one point lead. Just over four minutes to go here in the ball game. Hey. Thank all of our listeners, viewers on the Pentagon channel and also streaming, afnurem.net. And two points there for Knapp. Cougars spread their lead to three. Sigonel on the fast break. Cobble with the shot. Just can't quite get it to fall. And Knapp gets the rebound, brings it back the other way. She has no help. She's going to pull it up and set up. Dangerous pass across the middle. Porus almost comes down with it, and that was the case, I think, of Porus and her own teammate fighting for it. They're going to call a travel since it was both players from the same team going for it there, so Sigma get the ball back. A little bit too much hustle from the chins out there. <laughs> I like their effort. I, I like where, the, where their heart's at. And to see if they can keep it together and uh, keep this lead for the win. With three and a half minutes left in this game. All right. Grant with the steal this time. And gives it back right away. Good block there by Grant. But they are going to call the foul. No, nope, excuse me. Yeah, the foul against Siganella. Out of bounds on Sig. There we go. So the shot is up. Signal just short. Knapp tried to, could come down, down with it, and Signal gets it back. Nice hustle there by Sydney Moore to pull the ribbon out of Knapp's hands. And Signal back within one. Just under three minutes to go here in the ball game. We got a tight one. Grant down below, struggling. They're going to call that jump ball again. They're getting the ball down to Grant below, but she can't quite get any separation. Hey, 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 Feels like, yeah, every time she goes up and uh, attempts to even try to shoot it inside, Siganella is just wrapping up, wrapping up the ball, wrapping up her, just preventing her from even getting off a shot. And most of the times it's, it's turned off in uh, jump balls. Horace with the inbounds. They're going to call the travel now against Siganella. Could not get rid of it fast enough. Two thirty-seven to go here in the ball game. Cougars trying to get one more basket in here, extend their lead. 
Barely gets an inbound to Knapp. Knapp drives, tries to put the shot up. No good. They're going to call a double dribble. So no basket. Tip ball for Vicenza, but Sigano hangs on to it. Nice job there by Cobble to come back and get that one. Incidental contact there in the middle of the court between Weston and uh, Aiden Adriano. Cougars taking a timeout here. One point lead with 2.33, 2.23 to go. We'll take a break as well. You are watching Cougar Jaguar basketball on AFN. Does he have any 30? back. One point lead to Signal trying to take the lead. Katie Cobble with the hoop and the lead for the Jags. Just over two minutes to go. A one point lead for Signella. Sarah Wetson tries to get it down to Zarnik. Zarnik gets back. The Porus can't quite get enough on at that time. And Signella gets the ball back with the lead. Costly turnover at such late in the game. 150 left. Got to play some more basketball right now. The Chenta gets the ball. They're going to call a jump ball there. Good steal. Sick will keep the ball, but they're going to move that possession arrow the other way. Signal inbounds it to Cobble. And she cannot hang on to it. They're going to call Grant for tipping it out. So Siganella will hang on to the ball, keep possession. Every touch counts now. Looks like Vincenzo has decided to, to ease off defensive wise, let them shoot. Down low, and that's a backbreaker right there. Sydney Moore with the big basket. Extends Siganella to a three-point lead. 117 to go. Sarah Wetson tries to drive down by herself and up and in. Knapp with the pressure there defensively, but Siganella will keep the possession with just over a minute to go. One-point game. Here's the inbounds. Tip ball. Weston gets it. Give it to Porus and it's another jump ball. Weston knew she tried, she forced that one. A minute to go, but Vicenza will have possession now after that last jump ball they created, they get possession back, so just over a minute to go. Siganella leads by one. Very critical possession here for Vicenza right now. With only a minute left. Let's see if they can capitalize. A lot of contact there on that inbound pass. Weston gets it on the nap, nap drives the lane. Rebound, Porus. Two points. 
Kachinsa going back with the full court pressure. Cougar the lead. Cobble tries to get down low, and she gives it away. Zarnik keeps possession of the ball, throws it down to Weston just outside her grasp. Cougars have a one point lead with 31 seconds to go. And Siganella wants to call a timeout. Love to see that one again. That was a great play there by, Sig by uh, Victoria Porras to give Vicenza the one point lead. Very exciting action here. We'll take a break though. This is Cougar Siganella basketball on AFN. Vicenza. Setting evening here, and we've got more to come to Dickie. Coming up after this is the boys game. The Chenza Siganella will be doing that one as well. So don't anybody go anywhere. Uh, I'm very excited to see the boys varsity game. Both teams are very high powered offense and defensive wise. It should be a great battle all the way to the final buzzer. So here we go, 30 seconds to go. Siganella has the ball. They will inbound it. And it's stolen by Vicenza. Zarnik with the ball, she keeps it. She gets it to Knapp, Knapp possesses, and they get possession, 20 seconds to go. Vicenza moving the ball around. Siganella needs to foul. Jump ball, that will go back to Sig with nine seconds to go. I'm surprised Siganella didn't foul at that point. Damn. So now Siganella will get the ball back here with nine seconds to go, trailing by one. I'm very surprised they didn't commit a personal, an intentional foul there with less than 20 seconds left in the game, trailing. So here it is, but a long pass, picked up by Vicenza in the middle court. That should do it. And a, a cross-court foul. Called by Mr. Johnson. Opposite side of the stadium. Eagle eyes Johnson sees a foul. So Siganella will get the ball back one more time. Oh my. First time he's called that all night. Called this. <laughs> we got the replay though. We're gonna see that basket again. And maybe not. So. Little technical difficulties, but two seconds to go. Siganella has the ball, and they have to go all the way to the court. This will be a desperation play right here. All the marbles. We're going to speak with the Vicenza coach right after the game is done, I'm sure, to hear his take on this incredible game. So here we go. Last play of the game. Two seconds left. Vicenza holding on to a one point lead. Zarnik back playing defense. The ball's inbounds and they will not get a shot away. And the Cougars take the victory. What a great win there for the Vicenza Cougars and what a heartbreaking loss for the Jaguars. Definitely a nail biter all the way to the final buzzer. 31 30 Vicenza. It's definitely, it definitely was, was a lot more tense than it, than it uh, seems on the scoreboard with such a low score, but. And we're gonna go down live. Uh, Sergeant Martin's got the Vicenza coach. Go ahead. Hey guys, hey coach. Got awfully close towards the end. You two were trading baskets, but you managed to put one in at the end. How does it make you feel to win, a, win this important game? Well, they finally started playing together and listening to some coaching tactics because we were just giving it to them at every aspect that you could think of. So. Hey, enjoy the win, coach. Congratulations. All right, Sam, back to you guys. All right, thanks, Sergeant Martin. I'm Aaron Tai with uh, Nikki Kaiser, and we will be back in just about 30 minutes with the boys' game. So don't go anywhere. Spread the word. Keep streaming that on Vicenza.afneurope.net and the Pentagon Channel. Thanks for watching. Once again, final score.
And Sigonella 30, live basketball action from Vicenza. We'll be back in just a few minutes on AFN. Thank <laughs> you.